On Street, we find ourselves at Lincoln Financial Field in South Philly. The scene in South Philly a few moments ago where the city of brotherly love is fired up. They're saying fly, Eagles, fly, as they get ready to match up with the New Orleans Saints. The New Orleans offense back out and ready to go. Winston now to throw on first down. To the right side and complete to Thomas. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. it outside but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage no gain on the play there so they're left with a third down and six now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop isn't it but he's more than that this guy is nimble and quick more than a space eater he just made a great play there on third down Winston Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Javon Hargrave, the D tackle, getting the sack. But defensively, you really can't script the start much better. You get a three and out and a sack. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. They kept him short of a first down on first and second down. And then on third down, they pick up a sack. What tremendous momentum for them to start this game. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Who with a juke. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. The Eagles offense now. They head back on the field. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at the 31-yard line. They'll fake the give to Sanders. And now Hurts. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Goddard. Three yards the game there, second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that no coverage bust by the defense here they did a nice job accounting for everybody and that led to an incompletion they head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down they'll look to throw dance into his left and he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Five yards, and that means they come up short as they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive. I like his effort there. He got it done on his own, but let's face it. He puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rallying, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. A gain of six there on first. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. To throw, Winston. 
He'll find his tight end. It's Adam Troutman. And they work this well upfield across the 45. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense. And guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Here's Winston. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 37. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now a handoff. Here's Kamara. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. On second and 11 now. Winston drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case, the feet, to a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Javon Hargrave, his second sack of the night. Oh, uh, partner, you know what I'm going to say before I even say it. Yeah, you just cannot take a sack in that spot. You're exactly right. You can't take a sack in that spot. Potentially now, a three-point swing right there. And that's off the right upright, and it bounces away no good. So back onto the field. Here come the Eagles for their second drive. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? But you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Yeah, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> From just shy of midfield, Hurts. Open man has got it, the tight end. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people, but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. No score after one on EA Sports. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. They'll run on first down. It's Sanders, and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Now here's a throw that's complete.
Now a first and 10 at the 11. They'll run it, Sanders. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Six yards left on second down. Throwing his hurts. Flush to his right. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts taking it in from seven yards away as his guys are on the board first here tonight. So a quarterback scramble, certainly a pass play, but he saw something, tucked it, and got in the end zone. A lot of quarterbacks, when they scramble, they're scrambling to create more time to throw the ball downfield. In this situation, as you noted, he tucked it and took off. Great play by him. Elliott good on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Here's Harris to return it. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The New Orleans offense set to take over. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake, third down. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And there was absolutely zero pressure on the quarterback on that play. Third down, and he has all the time in the world to eventually find an open receiver for a first down pickup. Now Kamara. And this will wind up a Saints first down as good running gets him to about the 44. He's obviously a bit of a shorter running back. Sometimes when he goes up the middle like that, he, he gets lost in there, and then he pops out for 10, 20 yards. I actually asked NFL linebackers if that was true. Do you actually lose sight of some of the smaller running backs? And all of them confirmed that that can be a problem. Think of it this way. Two of the top running backs in NFL history, Emmitt Smith, Barry Sanders, both 5'10". And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. T.J. Edwards able to get in there and drop him behind the line. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance. They've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. Looking left side, and it's complete. 
And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 17-yard line. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. From the red zone now, Winston. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep, first and goal. To the air again with Winston. Got a man open. It's Thomas. It's a touchdown for New Orleans. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying this thing up. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Lutz good on the extra point, and we are tied here in the second quarter. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And that is incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Hurts sets up to throw it. Over the middle to Smith. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. From the gun, it's Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. And unable to connect, incomplete. Uh, give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. And this returnable for Harris. 
A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. The Saints offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity, push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. From the 30 on second down, Winston. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over in that time, but it's going to lead to third down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Now Winston. He gets it to Thomas. And he stopped up short of the first as they tackle him down at about the 36. Here comes the Saints punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles offense is going to take over late in this first half. And they've got just under 50 seconds, so time enough to try to work their way downfield if they so choose. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Incomplete. He was looking for Miles Sanders out of the backfield, but it's going to be second down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Again from the 20 after the incompletion. Here's second and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. And this is caught by Watkins. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Brown with a place to tackle, now with Allen. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there on, to move boys, the sticks. Let's go. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. to throw again and time finally runs out he can't get rid of the football and he's taken down he'll wind up losing eight on the sack there and it's second down so a touchdown apiece that's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room 7-7 seven, seven, our score as we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report coach set and ready to go for the second half one touchdown apiece 7-7 seven, seven, our score the Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive 
It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. And just a yard to go here on second down. Let's go, defense. Let's get off the field, defense. Hey, hey, hey. He'll look to throw. Being chased out left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Now, how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Hurts with a little pop pass on the jet sweep. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And a lot of times these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. From just shy of midfield, Hurts. And this one complete to Smith. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Running right, here's Sanders. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It was Cameron Jordan who came in and got him. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Another run with Sanders. Give him two yards that time, and it's going to leave him with a third and 11 situation. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. A third down now. And those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. The Sanders has got it complete. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. And he missed it. It's no good, and we will remain tied here in this third quarter. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Meanwhile, Winston's throw caught by his receiver, Hill. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Jameis now on first down. He'll get this to his tight end, Troutman. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, 
It used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. To throw is Winston. Going deep here for Landry. And this ball incomplete. Uh, looked very much to be a catchable ball and could not hang on. Second down coming up. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with it. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. To throw once more on second and 10. Winston. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. They'll throw again, Winston. They'll set up the screen now to Camara. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. And Lutz puts this one through. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So he missed that field goal earlier, but he says not this time. Able to knock it through, give his guys three. I like his poise. I like his confidence, his belief in himself. Sometimes when you miss that first one, you'll see a lot of guys sag, and they can't make the next one. Not in this case. Stepped right up like a pro. Field goal, Lutz to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this a time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. Wide open is Watkins. He's got him. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A big play that time on the catch and run. The timing was absolutely true as he caught it working across the field. Plenty of space for him to roam, but notice how he keeps his head on a swivel looking for defenders who may crop up out of nowhere. That turned into a big play. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. On first and 10, it's Sanders. Gave a glimpse of his power, but not a whole lot of space. Down at the 30. David Onyemata there on the tackle. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. 
We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. And looking for a lane, but none to be found for Sanders as they stop him short of the line to gain. They'll be marked inches short. No gain on the play. And that's going to lead them to fourth down. So a big, big kick coming now for Jake Elliott. From the right hash, it's a 41-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. So with less than a minute gone by here in this fourth quarter, the field goal there gets this thing back to even. And it's setting up for a fantastic finish, isn't it, partner? It's been a well-played game, a hard-hitting game. The fans are into it. The announcers are into it. This is going to be a great fourth quarter. now at 10 apiece as the kicks away. Here's Harris to return it. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The Saints again ready to go on offense. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. In six, now it's Camaro Camaro in the passing game. That he'll be taken down at the 20 as well as after snakes. a gain of just one. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big like play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. Looking to throw again on second down. Winston. Flushed out right, and he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. is caught he hits Landry and he is going to have a Saints first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four but give the defensive guys a little bit of credit they didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play did they you know that the drag that guy can be your safety valve we saw it right there yeah and it picked up a first down for him too so they'll come up first and ten now from the 33 working out of the gun Winston and that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Winston now. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Boy, that one was well read defensively, and this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. The Saints on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This will be third and six. Jameis again. Back to Kamara for another catch. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 39. That's a big gainer on that play. And from experience, I can tell you, that's where defensive backs will come into the huddle and say, guys, 
How about some pass rush? But you're going to say it nicely because those big guys up front, they don't like being criticized very much. Quarterbacks in this league, you know they'll pick you apart if you give them time like that to find receivers downfield. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Some big plays in the passing game on this drive, and here's one out of the running game. So the passing game, loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. Winston now to throw on first down. Open man is the tight end, Troutman. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Throwing again on second down. Winston out of the backfield. That's complete to Kamara. And the Saints are going to have a first and goal as the tackle made at the 10-yard line. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Saints have moved out in front. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Lutz with the extra point, and that makes it a 17-10 score. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This will be fielded inside the five. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Hurts and the Eagles now. Trailing 17-10, 2.19 to play. Plenty of time here. They've got three timeouts and the two-minute warning as they've got it first and 10. But first down, Hurts. Over the middle, complete. That's Brown. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. throw again on second down. Hurts. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Back to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Now that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. The clock still runs. We're at 90 seconds now. 
Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. Brandon's okay what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. First down now, but the clock continues to move. They'll look to throw. That swung out wide to Sanders. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, partner. They have all three timeout. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. First down now, but that clock rolling. He's back to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Smith. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Back to throw. Goes right back to Smith again. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. He'll look to throw. And his pass incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Throwing his hurts. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by the corner, Bradley Roby. And the Saints have just about sewn up this football game. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. And they take a knee. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Winston will kneel down and that should be your ball game. So this one, a victory here for New Orleans. And it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets. Defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them to just a field goal. That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination and a pretty good game plan, pretty good idea of what they wanted to accomplish, just love the execution, love the tenacity, love the way they finished.